and on behalf of the Code Ridge Foundation and all the wonderful people here at Epic Little State Park, we want to give you a warm, warm welcome to the 19th Annual Papa Joe Smitty Music Festival. How many people have been here before for one, for one of them? Oh, that's one. Now, how many people's first time they've ever been here? Well, golly, boy, we got a bunch of we got a bunch of newbies in the crowd. They go in, they're in for it. If you rest of them, I know you're going to tell them that. We have a dynamite show lined up for you tonight, and I, and one of the best I believe we've had. Uh, want to uh, recognize all of our sponsors before we go any further. Uh, it's uh, spread across nearly a thousand acres and features 14 cabins, two lodges, two campgrounds, four yurts, two visitor centers, a living history area, an event center, and the only one of its kind in the state of Virginia Park Sister, a charity. Also known for the, is the Daniel Boone Wilderness Trail Interpretive Center, which is a satellite of the tunnel and is located just a few miles away over Duff, Duffield, my hometown. And, uh, it's operating hours for the facilities from 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. Now, if you haven't been over on a chair yet, you want to go do that. I guarantee you, you enjoy that. This festival is hosted, hosted by the Planning Committee of the Cobridge Center Foundation and the Advisory Board. The foundation is a 501c3 organization and functions as friends and groups of the Natural Tunnel State Park. The group assists with programming, fundraising, fundraising, and events such as this. All proceeds of the Papa Joe Festival go directly to a scholarship fund, and if anyone would like to make a donation, we salute it, so think about that a little bit. If anybody would like to make a donation, you can do so either at the tent, at the top of the steps, or one of the lower park areas, the uh, parking areas. The uh, Coverage Foundation and its various councils and committees are always looking for new volunteers. So if you're interested or you like what's going on here, just see one of the one of the people dressed up in the smoky bar uniforms and they'll be glad to talk to you about it. Let's see. How am I doing on time? I've got about five kill I feel half of the time just about now. <laughs> uh, you know, Hello? This this event, as Papa Joe's Hello. event, was because of what a wonderful legacy he has left. This man was uh, just an absolutely fun guy to know. Anybody that ever knew him just thought the world of Papa, Papa Joe. I had the good fortune to meet him. His, he was, in his later years, he was a resident up at the assisted living where my wife's mother was, and they were next door neighbors. And uh, Papa Joe was still very happy playing music right up to the, to the very end, and he used to bang on the door and tell Ann's mom, if you're too loud, just let us know, we'll turn it down a little bit. And I, <laughs> he was just a wonderful, wonderful guy. And uh, he started so many programs and did so much for the cultural, music culture of our area. Uh, he started the Pickening Park, and uh, he, he just a we are in the privilege to. Uh, continue uh, with this programming to honor uh, Papa Joe. And if anybody can uh, get a chance, be sure to walk over here to this side of the building over here and you'll see a masonry relief that uh, we've had put up in his, in, in, as a memorial honor to him. Uh, also, we have a lady that has been so instrumental in all of this, the uh, picking in the park, which uh, started mm -hmm. has really got this time. Kind of, kind of sprouted up with that. Uh, but Miss Nana Catherine uh, is just such a joy and a sweet person to know, and she has done so many things. I've got a bio here every week, and I don't have enough time to get through it all. But uh, this woman was, uh, she was a uh, runner at Miss Tennessee Senior American in 2005. She was a beauty queen when she was in high school. And her beauty is more than skin deep. I'm telling you, this woman's got a heart of gold in her. I myself, along with hundreds of people that I can name, have been helped by her support and her urging for us to continue on with us. Now, that's her right there. I would like, while she's standing up, I would like y'all to give her a hand. Miss Nyan, we thank you. Well, let's see. Uh, 
I think I've got the shield down on the cord. It's time to get on with the program. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit about this group that's coming up. You've heard them uh, doing the sound check. But uh, some things about them you may or may not know. Number one, Eric McMurray, the leader of that little old group, I, I ran into him when he was just a teenager. His dad and I used to work in the same outfit. And uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, holidays and what we'd get together and have a little music celebration and pick a little music while we were eating hot dogs or whatever. Really and uh, I thought right then and there, I said, this guy's a great musician and he has proved to be so. Eric Murray and the tennis Trinity Valley Travelers, uh, that's hard for me to say, Eric Murray, Trinity Valley Travelers, I got that. They were uh, formerly known uh, as High Test Grass Black Band. But they're deep, steeped in uh, Appalachian, Southwest Virginia culture. The band brings together multi-talented individuals. The band was selected from this summer's Pickle in the Park series to kick off the Papa Joe Smith Mountain Music Festival this year. Also, this group has opened or put on a show and opened up for the likes. Are y'all ready for this? Doyle Lawson and Third Time Out. These boys ain't no slaps, I'm going to tell you that right now. They're top of the line performers. I know you're going to enjoy them. And uh, Does this sound good? let me say just another one or two about uh, the picking in the park. Uh, it's an event that's held in, on the uh, last Sunday of May, June, and July here, right here in this park. And the performers are judged, and the selected band gets to be on this show and that's how they're, they're there they're here as a result of that plus we like I, like I said they are such great great musicians are y'all back there anywhere right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen put your hands together and welcome Eric McMurray in the Trinity Valley Travel Yeah, we have to be careful because uh, you use the word work, and work is, you know, just be careful with that, I, I, you know, so, but anyway, we're glad to be here.
gospel song and uh, we play out because we're thankful that the Lord Jesus Christ has saved us and uh, given us the ability to play. So we're going to do one called Take You in Your Life. Brother.
Played a man when he can play the fiddle and the banjo, play about anything and play it very well. He's the hometown crowd man today. Down around Gate City, folks, by way of Hilton's, Virginia, Eric McMurray. Here's your to Yeah. 
you know, I told you they were the winners of the picnic park there. They were selected to be on the show. And uh, I really think I've been a part of the picnic park for, oh gosh, I don't know, it's almost from the very beginning, close to 20 years, maybe more, I don't know. They were certainly one of the best that we've had uh, selection on that. And uh, they just did a fine job.